Hi guys, it's John Paul Jones, and I'm about to give you some behind the scenes secrets on the Mentel All. So What's up? How did it feel tonight? How did the hot seat feel tonight? How did you see Hannah again tonight? Yeah, um, so the hot seat was sort of a pleasant surprise, was not expecting that. I was on the show for about 60 seconds cumulatively. Um, and uh, it was great to see Hannah, you know, she, she has a lot of positive energy and, uh, you know, it's it's always a pleasant surprise when she walks through the door, for sure. It looks like you guys, like, secured a newfound friendship with each other. Is that true? Yeah, I think it's fair to say that, you know, I, I think... You know, they also didn't air this, so Hannah actually called me brother after the first row ceremony, and I knew, like, right away, like, oh, crap, I just got friend zone. so uh, I'd say it sort of developed before that a little bit, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was cool, for sure. And now, let's talk about the Luke P. drama this season. So, would you say that he is a bad guy? Did today no, change your no, opinion no. at all? I, 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 don't, I don't think Luke P. is a bad guy at all. Uh, he just couldn't really handle the high of the first impression rose, and you know he was just blinded by his ambition. Um, you know, it's just common in human nature to sort of you know act on your emotions, and he just couldn't really control it. I think he is a, I think he has good intentions, but he definitely could have handled himself better for sure. The, and ambushing the rose ceremony is it was it crazy or yeah, endearing? Again, that was not. It was it was it was pretty nuts. I mean, it was a little uncalled for. I think he definitely should have sort of respected the fact that you know she didn't want him there. You know, she, he just needed to sort of respect the distance that she wanted, so. What were the guys, like, talking about backstage when all of that was going down, when he was talking to Chris Harrison about the whole, like, sex conversation? Were you guys just shaking your head backstage? Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly, uh, I, w I wasn't there, but I, I would imagine everyone was, you know, it was just, uh, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, was kind of tough to watch, uh, you know, him sort of get grilled at the stake. Um, <laughs> You know, but, you know, he sort of did it to himself and, you know, again, the show will be sort of, avail you know, viewable for the next 20 years, right? You can go back on Amazon Prime and rent season 16, what is it, season 16 of The Bachelorette? And, you know, he's going to have to live with that. I think he's paid his, you know, paid the price for what he did and, you know, I think it's kind of time to move on. Now, Peter, Tyler, or Jed, who do you think Hannah picks? Uh, Tyler C. Uh, I just think, you know, they're sort of the best fit for each other. Yeah. And I had a question, like, Jed has come around like so much controversy this season. Do you think his intentions are like genuine? Uh, it's not really for me to say. I'm not really sure, you know. I, I'm not sure if I can really trust the source that came out and spoke out about Jed, but, you know, uh, I think he was trying to kill two birds with one stone. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.